Hello Simpilots and welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator video. Today is just a quick one to show you all how to use a stored company route in the Flyby-Wire A32NX. This is specifically useful if you fly the same routes more than once, perhaps you like a specific route or you fly for a virtual airline which requires a certain number of legs between two airports, then it's useful to have stored company routes inside the MCDU. First things first, it does require the use of Flyby-Wire's SimBridge. If you go into your Flyby-Wire installer and head on over to the bottom left corner over here, you see Flyby-Wire SimBridge with a little tick mark over here. If you click on it, it says SimBridge is running. Here, the little settings icon, auto start. Make sure you have auto start enabled. That way, whenever you start up your computer, SimBridge will automatically be running. Now, while we're here, if you go onto the right hand side and you click on about, as you'll see here, it says, uh, resources folder this is the folder where our company routes need to be saved in so if i click on resources and it brings up the folder we're going to save it in co roots here which is company roots but we will come on back here once we have a company route in order to generate these company routes i use simbrief as always so if i head on over to simbrief let's create a flight plan which we can save as a company route so as you all know, I always use SimBrief for my flight planning when I'm flying on Microsoft Flight Simulator and the A32NX, and we will use it again for our company routes. So as always, let's just create some random flight plan for today's example. So let's go to dispatch. New flight. Uh, something random. Let's go Lufthansa, one, two, three. Depart from Gatwick, and we're going to go to Munich. Aircraft type is the A20 November, as always. Fly-by-wire all versions. We don't have to stick any of this in now. Let's go to flight level 350, and we'll leave everything else. And what we're going to do is we're going to have this saved as a company route. So let's generate this flight. Once that's been generated, we can go to flight plan downloads. If we go all the way down to the bottom over here, we can see the XML data file. This is the one that we want, but we need to rename it. So we're going to right click and it's going to go save link as, and it's going to just save it there. Now that's going to save it in our downloads folder. We'll need to move it to our company roots folder in a second. Before we do that, let's maybe do a second example with a bit of a longer route. So perhaps some, something in North America, we'll do American Airlines, we'll fly from Los Angeles and we'll fly right across the United States to New York. So Kilo, Juliet, Foxtrot, Kilo. And May 20 November for the fly by wire. There we go. Uh, same thing, let's just stick in an altitude of 390. Here's our route over there and uh, generate this flight. Once that's been generated, we can go flight plan downloads again, all the way down to the bottom, right click, save link as, and there it is again as well. We'll save it in our downloads folder. Okay, so now we've got two examples that we can use. Now we've saved these in our downloads folder and we need to get them to our company routes folder. Now there's two ways we can do that. Like I showed you earlier, we've got the fly by wire sim bridge. So if we go to about and we can click on resources, it'll open up the resources folder, which is over there. And then we can use the company routes. Or what we can do is we can go to our system tray over here, right click on the fly by wire logo and open resources folder. There's our company routes folder. So now if we take our downloads and we can move them across to our company routes folder. So let's cut these here and paste them over here. Now we need to rename them. What I like to do is I just use the ICAO codes. You can use the IATA codes and a number. Maybe you've got more than one route for a specific route and you can't have them all with the same name. So let's rename this one. We take out all of that. It can be up to nine characters. So we can leave that like that. Let's do this one as well. We'll take out all these numbers make sure it says dot xml we can leave it like that actually this one we can even change to another example let's go one sorry echo golf kilo kilo echo delta delta mic one 
that's nine characters, eight, nine, eight. Okay, so there's our company roots. You can see I've got an old one for Gatwick to Frankfurt. Now let's jump into the sim and load them up. So here we are on the flight deck of the A32NX. And when it comes time to setting up the MCDU, we can head directly to the init A page. So if we go in at A, there's two ways to enter this company route. We can go from to and it will bring up the company route saved for that departure and arrival, or we can enter the company route directly from what we named it. So let's do from to, we go Echo Golf Kilo Kilo to, to Echo Delta Delta Mike. And then it has our company route, Echo Kilo Kilo Echo Delta Delta Mike 1 we saved it with a one and this is our route mumfo airway waypoint airway waypoint airway waypoint airway all the way to our destination and if we want to use it we can insert it like that now if we go to the flight plan page we can see it's already been inserted just an important note when utilizing a stored company routes please be aware of the following data that is not included a company route does not include the flight number, the cost index, or cruise level. So if you look here on the init A page, a flight number, cost index, cruise flight level is not inserted. It also doesn't include a departure or an arrival or approach or any flight specific data like passengers, cargo, fuel, etc. As these are variables that can change every flight. So those will still have to be entered manually from your slim brief flight plan. Okay, let's reset this and do another one, uh, other example. So we've reset the sim and we're going to have a look at our second example, which is a slightly longer flight. So straight to the init A page, this time we'll use the company route. And our second one was in America. So we had Los Angeles to New York. Company route. There it is over there. There's got our alternates from two. And if we look at our flight plan, everything has been entered immediately into the flight plan. As I said before, doesn't include flight number, crossed index, cruising altitude, or any other information like our weight and balance, etc., etc. These will all have to be filled in manually from our flight plan using SimBrief. Obviously that information is all loaded on your SimBrief flight plan so you can get it by ac accessing your SimBrief operational flight plan from the flight pad. That's all for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you. If you have any questions regarding company routes, leave it in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. As always, if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing, give that thumbs up. If you would like to get your name up on the channel as a supporter, click the link below to buy me a coffee. You can support the channel with a one-time donation. It would be greatly appreciated. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, happy flying. Mm -hmm.